Okay, I feel y'all excitement, but I am excited for today too. But before I get into today, can I tell y'all, make sure y'all watch the show tomorrow because we will have the entire hour with the cast of the new Color Purple film. <laughs> Check it out. With the producer, the incredible Miss Oprah Winfrey. Listen here, I was lucky enough to see the film. Y'all, please, it comes out Christmas Day. Make sure you check it out, because I'm sure going to be there with bells on. With my, uh, with bells on! You get it? With bells on! Wait a second! Wait, is that my Jolly Wally? That sounds like Jolly Wally Bill. Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> that is my bestie in the box. Oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. Do you have something for me, Jolly Wally? I do. Okay, can I come and see it? Yay! Yeah. Ah! Y'all like get so excited when Jolly Wally come around. Okay, okay, you bust out that box, friend. Yes. Oh my God, you got a gift for me? what I got for you. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of boxes. Yeah. Jolly Wally is jolly today. It's another box? Okay. Look, see, it's a poem. It's a poem? Yeah. You want to read it to me? Sure. <laughs> Today's lovely guest is known for her style. Okay. And when she comes out, I'm sure we'll all smile. With artistic ability too good to measure, her most recent album is called The Age of Pleasure. Ooh, okay. That gives me a clue. Thank you, Jolly Wally. You're amazing. Of course. I feel like, okay, age, you said Age of Pleasure? Yes. I feel like that guess may be Janelle Monet. You think I'm all right? Oh my God! It must be Janelle Monet. That's exciting. Ah! Woo, this is getting really good. Okay, so I am excited for our first guest. They're a talented actor, producer, and Grammy nominated musician. Y'all, please welcome the beautiful Janelle Monet. First of all, you look amazing. <laughs> Don't well, I mean. I knew that I was coming to see, you know, this icon, gorgeous spirit. Every time I see you, your spirit is always so pleasant. Thank you. So beautiful. That and means a lot. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, congratulations, a Grammy nominee. You got two Grammy Woo! nominations. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Album, The Age of Pleasure, nominated for Album of the Year. That's a big deal. And best progressive yeah. R&B album? Yeah. How does that feel? I'm so just thankful. You know, I've been, I've been working on albums um, a lot, and I love making albums. And so to be in the, one of the biggest categories, the biggest category, in That's my major. opinion, um, for Grammys for Album of the Year means a lot. And not just, you know, it's shining focus on the hard work and the love. Um, that I put into the album, but it also recognizes everybody else yes. who worked on the album, from the producers to the features. Like, it's a community affair, and that's what I love most about it. Yes. So that's a beautiful thing. I'm just humbled and, and thankful, and I pray that, you know, if you listen to The Age of Pleasure, I just want to say thank you, you yes. know, for supporting yes. it. For supporting it. It means, it means a lot. You deserve it. Tell me, where were you when you found out you got nominated? Where was I? Okay, this is so crazy. The <laughs> night, I usually, I always tell my team, like, don't tell me dates about. Me neither, I don't wanna I don't, know either. I don't need that on my heart, on exactly. my spirit. And I'm just like, somebody was like, oh, okay, so nominations are this Friday. And I'm don't like, tell me. Mm. And I'm like, why would they say that now it's in the back of my head? And so the night before, Jennifer, I kid you not, I had a dream uh -huh. that I did not get nominated. See? I was like, it's, it's okay, because honestly, I don't do what I do for awards. For the awards, I right. don't. I, I really, I seriously, I, I don't. I love making art, I love making music. I could do this for free. Mm -hmm. I could. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do need to survive. Yes. But, yes. but I understand that but too. But honestly, <laughs> creating and, and creating art is something that I do, you know, as a healing mechanism for myself and it brings me great joy as well. And so anyway, I had this dream and then in the dream it was, and I, it was, I was like, okay, I'm gonna focus on getting my festival together. And I started in the dream planning other things. I don't know, I just started planning other things. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up and I was like, oh my God, it's a dream. Now I still have to figure out, is, am I good, are we nominated or are we, are we not? And 
literally, like, I started getting text messages. Uh -huh. I didn't go look, but you know you get the texts. Yes. Congratulations. That's congratulations. when you know you did something. When you oh. look at someone like, what did I do? Yeah, but, I, <laughs> but in my dream, I was super calm. I was like, let me focus on my festival, and I got other things that I can really, really focus on. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but you deserve it, though. Like, you're, I you. think you're such a unique, creative... <laughs> Just expressive artist. I think you're just like a rare gem in mm -hmm. the industry. I look forward to your every album. Can you explain Age of Pleasure? Ooh, the Age of Pleasure. Ooh, okay, when I wrote The Age of Pleasure, um, I really wrote it for my friends. Mm -hmm. I wrote it for my community. And I wrote it during a time where, like many of you, when we started in this pandemic, we didn't know what kind of world we were going to be living in. That right is now, right. Right. I think all of us people. It was a. It was. It was very intense and heavy, and it still is. And I think during that moment, when I got a chance to be back with them, I started seeing our smiles when we were together. Mm -hmm. um, I started having like really small gatherings safely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we tested as many people as we possibly could. I saw how we were dancing together, how we were just taking care of each I other, and I together. said, I want to make music that is like a soundtrack. Um, to, to, to this lifestyle, making these people, making black women smile. Yes. How can I create an album that makes black women smile, nice. non-binary people smile, the queer community smile, like these marginalized communities who deserve right. pleasure. Yes. Unapologetic. Yes. I think that as a person who has utilized, I've utilized my career and, and, and the music and the art that I make to highlight marginalized voices and communities a lot. And so what I wanted to do with this project is decenter white supremacy, mm. decenter racism, decenter homophobia, and really focus on, focus on, focus on a safe space for us. Because when you think about the word pleasure, there is no pleasure mm. without safety. Great point. If we don't feel safe, you can't. We, don't, we don't feel joy. And so it was so important that with this project, I brought in a community of, 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 of artists across the diaspora. Mm. You know, you have people from Nigeria on this project yes. to, um, to Ghana, to Jamaica, to like, I wanted to highlight the most beautiful uh, of, 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 of Pan-African culture. Right. And, um, I, wa I wanted to make sure that we, we had something that we could listen to and that felt like an audible vacation mm. when you couldn't take a vacation. Mm. You could listen to this and feel transported and listen, it, listen to it with the people uh, who I feel need it the most. We need it. We do. You are very right. <laughs> Beautiful and thoughtful. Can you stick around real, yeah. for a little bit? All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. We're back with Grammy-nominated artist Janelle Monae. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You got to collaborate with like Nia Long and Grace Jones? Yes, girl. Oh my, first of all, I can't even believe those really? legends said yes to me. Nia Long, Ugh. wow. I mean. I gotta stop you. How do you come up with those things like, ooh, I want Grace Jones and Nia Long, and then do you just call them or <laughs> well, how did they know, come together? I met, when I first got into the industry, Nia Long was one of the first like actors who had come and see me perform. Mm. And I just remember hugging her and just telling her. I, I don't think I was comfortable telling her how in love I was with her growing up, just like everybody else. <laughs> yes. She definitely was my crush. Um, but so, so we, when we would see each other, we would always hug and, and you know, we exchanged info. And when I had the song, The Rush, mm -hmm. there was this voice that I heard and it was only perfect, like it was just perfect for her because of her poetic voice on Love Jones, which mm. is a classic. Mm. And so if you... If you listen to the song, she's, she's talking at the end, and I demoed it up, and I think I sounded really sultry and sexy, but I was like, Nia Long, we need, we need this energy. Yes, listen, because I'm, I'm big on voices, I lead with my ears, and your voice is so soothing when you speak. Oh. Y'all don't hear that? Well, thank it's you. almost hypnotic. I, listen, I'll take that from you. First of all, uh -huh. did you mention Grace Jones early? Because I have to give her a shout out. Give her a shout out, she deserves it. The queen. Um, when she came over, both of them came to my studio and I showed them like all the promo photos and the songs and they were just hyping me up. They were like, yes, baby, go, go do it. And so I just have to give a shout out to those icons and also Sister Nancy and Patra and Amare and Gucci yes. and CK 
Um, Horns Unlimited, uh, Fela Kute's son, uh, Shayun Kuti in Egypt 80. Like, so many incredible artists showed up for me in this project, and I just want to give them a shout out. Yeah. Wow, that is iconic. That is amazing. And speaking of collaborations and icons on your second album, you got to work with my absolute favorite, Prince. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. I was supposed to work with him for one of my albums, and I didn't get the opportunity, so I need to hear about your experience He with loved him. you. And I loved him. I remember him. us talking about you. Like, he, oh he loved you, and that just speaks to the type of person that he was. I think he was yes. a big advocate for, for artists, for, for black women um, really was. in particular. And I just remember, you know, him calling me. Mm -hmm. Like, hello, Janelle. <laughs> This is Prince. <laughs> oh my God, you have that Look at photo. That. Okay, so this just tells you what kind of person this is. So I opened up for him. I want to say this was the forum. Mm. I did Madison Square Garden, and I also did the forum with him. And this was my set opening for him, and he came out during my set and performed our song that oh we have together goodness. on the Electric Lady together. And you know, like the the headliner never comes out right. before it's time for them to come and for him to do that like that's the beautiful thing about I mean, him he was not only indebted. a great icon but a great human being what yeah, you say he never let his how do i put it his 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 mystery get in the way of his mentorship that's prince oh my goodness well we have more with Janelle Monet in a few we'll be right back and we're back with the lovely Janelle Monet Janelle, you inspired me in so many ways. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start at. Okay, I gotta dip this in the butt. So you inspired me to want to do the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. I saw you doing it. You should so do it. Oh my God, that would be so fun. You should absolutely do it. I had the time of my life. I didn't score no points, but That's I had the time okay. of my life. <laughs> you know, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, Janelle is doing it. I wanna do it too. So y'all cheer for me so I could be yes. on the team this year. You are going to do it. And I might to. get a point, girl. Get some buckets. <laughs> Don't let them knock it out your hand like okay. they knocked it out mine. I'm, I'm going to train for it. I'm going to get into it. <laughs> but let me talk to you, honey, because you be snatched from head to toe. <laughs> uh, look, look, I got the memo. Are Listen. we in the holiday spirit or what? Yes, we are in the holiday spirit, but you be <laughs> in the holiday, like in the, the style Thank spirit you. or something. What inspires your, your style and your fashion? I think, ooh, y'all got some good photos. Oh, we got some moments. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, as I'm becoming more of, of who, who I am becoming, mm -hmm. um, I sort of just roll with my spirit. And I think being non-binary, like my identity really does inspire it because it's yes. just like there are no rules. Right. I create them, I can move them, I can um, bend them to what feels good for my soul. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to just like, what is masculine, what is feminine, what is everything in between, you know, I define that on my own terms yes. when it comes to fashion. Look at this, this is amazing. That's one of my favorites. Oh my goodness. Christian Siriano, Met Gala, it had to be 2019, I wanna say. You better know today. Yeah. And when was it fun. was. And my boob, I had my boob to wink. I mean, so we, yeah. you gave it something to do. it was supposed to be cute. <laughs> and so I had this thing in my hand. You can't see it. But every time I would squeeze my hand, it would go, boop. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so it's, it's something behind that. Yeah. See, I knew it because we got a few videos and the pictures to show you of some <laughs> of your looks. And we want to know what's behind them because oh, it gosh. seems like they do have a story. <laughs> so who better to get it from than oh, you? Oh, my God. Those damn boots. That everybody Did you make had. any shots in them boots? Oh, you I made did. Some you shots saw that? Look at that. That, okay. was a, that was a three point. I had to train in them because I figured if I trained in something heavy, then as soon as I got on the court, everything would be light. Oh. On my feet. You know, like I wanted to get my muscles, my calves together. You know, so I'm you had serious. it thought out. Okay. <laughs> What's this moment? Those boots are similar to those red boots, actually. You're um, getting it right there. But I wanted these floor. It matches my floral cape. That's me on tour, the Age of Pleasure tour. I miss touring. You miss touring, it's, have you? Yes, but it sounds like fun. Yes, we had so much fun. That's just me backstage, like, oh, and that to is To me, it seemed like going into your world is like going into another world. What? That was Halloween. <laughs> I want to go to Janelle land. I Don't know. you? It's like another world. 
Come on, let's hang out. That took eight hours. Eight hours? Eight hours to transform into to a chameleon for Halloween, and I loved every moment of it. I love how you express yourself, and we love having you here. Will you come back and see us? I will. I would love to come back. I would love to do anything you're part of. Thank I just you. think that you are um, so phenomenal. Like, Thank you. you're just so beautiful in every sense of the word. And looking at, y'all can't see this out here, whoever's watching, but this crowd, they love you. And I and love them, and I love you, and, and I love you. And they are, uh, yeah, like, they are happy to be here. So uh, to see that you bring in people joy, and no matter what you do. Thank you. Uh, but I'm trying to get that. EGOT. You like, say that every time I see every you. Every time. I'm like, you know I've never won a Grammy you, you for won, any of my you, work. We claiming it, right, y'all? You gonna which, win a Grammy. Which, and so yes, when I think about, when I, when I do think about, like, you, mm -hmm. like, for you in every, it's so inspiring. You say I inspire you. You, in, you inspire me to do the work. Not, not focus on the reward of it, but right. you do beautiful work. Thank in, you so In anything much. You, you step into. And so, Thank you. I want you to know that. Thank you. Isn't she the best and the most beautiful? Be sure to listen to the Age of Leisure on all music streaming platforms. We'll be right back. <laughs> Our next guests have dedicated their lives to building a better world by putting mothers first. Take a look. My name is Muffy Mendoza. I am the founder and CEO of Brown Mamas. We're an organization that focuses on elevating the collective Black mothering experience in Pittsburgh and beyond. You know, Pittsburgh, we love our city. It is a hometown city. It is a small city. While it is livable for everyone else, it's not very livable for Black women in particular. We have high infant mortality and maternal morbidity rates. Unemployment is higher among Black women. And I'm a firm believer that once Brown Mamas decided that we were going to be the village to help each other raise happy, healthy kids, it just inspired an entire movement. So Brown Mama started because I was looking for my tribe. I had just moved back to Pittsburgh and I left Pittsburgh with just one baby and I came back and I had three. My life had totally changed and I was going through a little bit of postpartum depression and I wanted to find moms that were going through similar things. And I said, hey, I know you have kids. Would you be interested in meeting up? And so we all met in my living room. There were like seven of us. And now we reach over 7,000 black mothers in the city of Pittsburgh. We love to just encourage moms to take care of themselves. At the time, those safe spaces did not exist where their opinions, their ideas, their feelings and emotions will be respected. My husband has always been the biggest supporter. I told my husband, I wanna quit my job and I wanna do this full time. He always said, if you believe in it, I want to keep you doing this. My kids don't even realize that Brown Mamas is an organization because it has literally been a part of their lives since they were one and two years old. It's really been just a family effort and I feel like it's almost something that was destined for us to do. The mother is really the bedrock of her home and by making moms better moms, dads become better dads, children become better adults, and ultimately communities become better communities. All right, they're in our audience today. Get on down here, Mendoza family. Come on down. How are you, Muffy? It's a lot. I'm good though, thank you so much. Like, Thank you. So tell me who all is here with you today. So I have my wonderful husband, Mikel Mendoza, who's been here from the start. I have my youngest son, Philip. My middle son, Mikel Jr. And Jair, my oldest son. Wow, beautiful family. Thank you. Can you tell me how your family has been affected? Uh, this has been something we've been doing since my kids were just really little. Um, our family is Brown Mamas and Brown Mamas is our families. Are you surprised with how far it's come and how much you've done with it? It's only God because everything from the very beginning. Yes. We started our community, we had nothing. We had actually moved back to Pittsburgh in the middle of the night from mm -hmm. Brooklyn. My husband's from New York. And we were living in my best friend's basement. And wow. Then we moved and we got a place of our own. And I was just like, I need to find my people. I need to find my village. Yes. 
And my husband was like, I'm going to support you. Whatever you want to do, if you feel like you can make a difference in people's lives, I'm going to support you. And I never thought in a million years I'd be here. Oh, but you made it. Yes, ma'am. Boys, how has your mother inspired you? Like my mom said, where these two grew up with brown mamas, I was there from day one. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I saw my mom go from, <laughs> my bit, hold on. I saw my mom go from, you know, just a single mom trying to make her way. And now she's an amazing, absolutely astonishing CEO and elegant woman that she is today. Woo! <laughs> and if I had to say how she inspires me, she inspires me not to only take care of my own family one day, but to just strive for your dreams. Because no matter where you start, that doesn't determine where you end up. Wow. As parents, look at what you've instilled in these children. Like, you have to be proud of what you've done and the seeds you've planted in your family amongst other families. You know? That's the way we wanted it to be. You know, we wanted to blaze a trail. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to show that our kids that whatever they want to do in this world, they can go after it. Love that. Okay, tell me, what's your dreams? I love this name. Brown Mamas. What is your dream now for Brown Mamas? So the beauty of Brown Mamas is the transformation that moms can go through on their own as a yeah. part of Brown Mamas. And my goal, my dream for Brown Mamas is that one day there will be a Brown Mamas chapter in every single city in the United States. Yes. We want to celebrate you, okay? All right. Nima Colon heard your story, and we want to thank you for all you do for moms. So we're sending you on an all-expense-paid vacation to enjoy their four-season playground nestled in Pennsylvania's Laurel Heights. Here we go. Here goes Jolly Wally to bring you out your gift. At Nima Colon, you and your family will experience everything this thrilling winter wonderland destination has to offer, from dancing elves to holiday boutiques, delicious treats, and outdoor, ooh, ice skating rink. Y'all enjoy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your incredible work, the beautiful example that you all are. Enjoy, I wish I could go. Happy holidays, God bless you, we'll be right back. The holidays are upon us, and who better to get us in the holiday spirit than our resident TikTok expert, Paige. Come on out here, Paige. You like my cooking that's why you keep them in the kitchen what yes hi okay so we are gonna do some do-it-yourself holiday treats are you oh. excited yes i am you see i got my apron i know on. i'm wearing your apron and i like oh, you look i know i came in well i came in theme because you were wearing red so i was like i need something to okay. do this okay leave me the eyeshadow though. Okay, okay great okay what's next so we are gonna start with our pine cone strawberries okay okay scoot this way so this is really exciting all you need are strawberries chocolate powdered sugar um, and almonds. I thought you knew. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, here we go. So, you're gonna start with the strawberry I first. Get yep, you're gonna you take, you're one? just gonna follow me and take, you know, your greenery off, the stems. Okay. And you're gonna take a stick. Take a stick. And then you're just gonna plunge it through the strawberry, but I not all the way that. through. Yeah, like just like me that. In the kitchen these days. I know. Well, you're getting, you know, really I'm good. good. <laughs> yeah. Because you're my teacher. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we're gonna add our almonds. Oh, Which really? are kind of like a like a press on, yes, because this is the what are we the gonna final stick it on result. there with? I'm gonna show you. Just hold on, paste yourself, okay? <laughs> okay. Now watch what I'm doing. So you're gonna stick the almond. So that's like the glue. in the chocolate. It's like the glue. The what chocolate's the like the glue. And then you're gonna want to hold the almond down on the chocolate sh on, on the strawberry. This is going really well. Um, and it's just gonna stick on there, and it's gonna harden over time. I did better, Paige. Okay. And you're just gonna keep going all I'm the way thinking. around. You're just gonna keep sticking. I'm gonna eat that Don't one, eat that, them it at broke. The same time. It broke. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm chewing. Okay. You're gonna just keep going. 
And you're going to want to put your almonds all the way around the strawberry. I can't just dip it in and then just do that. Well, no, because then you're going to, like, coat it. You also could do that. I don't have the patience for cooking, but okay, this here, is amazing. Look. So you dip. Look. Look what happens when you dip the side. Oh, I think I did it wrong. You see that? Yeah. Let and me then just show, stick let me the try almond. My way. Cooking is an expression. You can it's try your own style. You, you go on your own, your own path. Bam. Okay, there great. you go. That's that good cooking right there. Okay, great. Mm. Dana! You're doing good. Make sure that you, wait, you have to do layers because it's like a pine cone. That's so a... you can't just like stick all them on the strawberry like you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> just, so just keep going, just make layers. Just make layers. Layers. Okay, layers. I think we should just do this. No, you Look can't. at that, that's layers. That actually looks pretty good. Instant cooking, the children are oh hungry. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you do that uh -huh. and then you pop it in the fridge for five to 10 minutes. And then this is the final product. It's gonna, you See, know. See, look. Wait, wait but not same. final, sorry. You have to dip it in chocolate first. Again? So Yeah, so take this. Okay. We're skipping a step. So that's the, that's the pre-step. Oh, and that's then, like Yeah, like we're this. gonna pretend that we did that and now we get to here. And then you're gonna dip this in the chocolate. So then you have it like this. Oh. My God. Okay. It's Yours gonna taste is just gonna the be same, over there. Baby. It's gonna okay, taste so you have it like this, and then you're I gonna know dip it in. No, wait, you're going so fast. Hold on. Okay. So then this, what this is what happens after you take the strawberries out of the fridge or freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do and final touches, you gotta add some snow. I'm gonna let you do this. You know I wanted since you're so. I'm um, excited about the snow, okay? Go, go. <laughs> Yay! Good Look job. at it, yeah, yeah! <laughs> good job, that was good. That looked good. Yeah, that was good. Okay, What's we're next? gonna move on. That was fun. Okay, we're moving on good. to one that is even more fun. I know how much you love the Grinch. So I we're do. gonna make Grinchmas cupcakes. Ooh, see right there? That is mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah. Show me what I gotta okay. do. So. All you need is icing, some lemon drops, and then um, some dye for, to make your cupcake green, obvi. See? Okay. Okay, great. So you're gonna start with the icing first. You just do what I do. Pick up, pick up an applicator. Do what I do. Okay. And then you're gonna make the head. So you're just gonna go ahead and make a circle. You wanna make it kind of like a cone shape because like, that's what the Grinch is giving. This smells good. I smell it. I already. know. Okay, great. So this is his head? Yeah, that's his, that's his head. <laughs> You have to follow me. I did. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. I need another one now. Just make it a little bit. He just got a big right. head. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're gonna <laughs> add the hat. So grab your, um, oh no, no. Add the hair first, the hair. Cause the Grinch got hair? Yes. See, that's how you get the waves. Waves. He got finger waves? Yeah, okay. But that's green. Yeah. He got green hair? Everything's green, it's the Grinch. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. You following me? Sorry, you can't see. Y'all see this? This is so this easy is to do. Work. Wait, he got hair all around. Every, just, all around. He got like a George Jefferson. Yeah, you can just, you can do, do it like a flip or like whatever you want. Okay. Okay, great. So now that you have the hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm doing my good, um, I'm doing my good cooking, child. What's okay. next? Now you're going to want to add the hat. The Christmas hat. <laughs> okay. You're this Grinch to so me out. Okay. Let me see what you're going to do. Your head okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's do the hat. So you're gonna go ahead and make another cone. Yeah, make another cone. You gotta add a tip. Just, you see how I have that right there? Yes! Good job! Mine is just more dramatic. <laughs> okay, now we have to add the cat, this part, the white part. I don't know about that. No, it's very easy. All you're gonna do is a circle. The quicker you go, the easier it is. Boom, done. They don't look like that, Paige. It's my own creative expression. Okay, you do okay, yours. I'm gonna do mine. But make sure they all connect, because if they don't connect, then it doesn't make a hat. But, oh, You oh. see how they all, see, that's what I was saying. The quicker you go, there you go. Okay, per, per, It's okay, cold great. out there, he need a good hat. Okay, great. Now we're gonna do the eyes, so grab your candies, and you're gonna put them on your cup. Whoa. I dropped the eyeball, baby, get that from me. Okay, you put it on. Put it on the cupcake. I'm trying to do it with my nails. Oh, Hold on. you keep dropping. No, you dropping them, not me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Girl. now you're gonna take the black dye and add the eyes. I'm already there. You watch. You watching me? <laughs> grab, the, grab the black dye. And I'm gonna make a happy face. 
because it's the Grinch, Keep and add happy. some eyebrows, and then boom. Yeah. Hold on, hold the line. Hold. No. Oh. Wait, wait, I need two eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. This is so cute though. Yeah, but, it looks great. Okay, uh, great. Good job. Is that okay? Whoa. <laughs> You're amazing. I'm gonna go home and do this very thing. I know, you can do this at home with the boys. <laughs> Thanks Paige. For more info on how you can make these items at home, go to our JenniferHudsonShow.com, right? We'll be right back if you wanna be like us. Welcome back. Yesterday, the Property Brothers were here on the show. Those who always double the fun up in here. So we played a little game. Do you want to see what happened? Okay, y'all, take a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Jonathan, you and I are on a team. Did you want to be the winner? Uh oh, Ooh, uh oh, they already getting competitive, y'all. Okay, and Drew, you need a partner. Yeah, who you got? So I got to get my good friend, Walter. Come on out here. Oh, Jolly Wally. You get yeah. Jolly Wally. The sweater, though. Jolly did you put him in that sweater? Do, no, I, don't like I was asking it for one too. It looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so guys, we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock, and the audience will decide at the end who decorated their tree the best. I That's y'all's job. We got it. We got it. But we're gonna make things a little bit more challenging. The brothers will be blindfolded. Oh wait, what? Yes, you will. That makes it a little trickier. But, but Walter okay. and I, we're gonna guide you guys oh, through it. You, do you okay. wanna put it on? Okay. Sure. All right, shall you I? You got yours on? All right, all right, we got this. No, Walter, okay. I'm not Wait, scared. Do you have any decorating experience? Um, <laughs> I Are you handy? Show. Can we swap to this? <laughs> Are you handy? Ah, we, got this. we got okay. this. Okay. I, I, you, you know what? I feel like we got this. Jolly Wally's handy, so I think we got this one. You got it? Okay, okay. and I think we get like 60 seconds on the clock. All right, all right. got this. Y'all get in position? Wait, where are we? There we go. Right. All the right. Ready? Wait. The tree is right here, uh, ah. Jonathan. Where? Walter, you me put him in the are? right direction. Okay. okay. Yeah. There all right. All right. Are y'all in position? Get ready. Wait, what are you doing? I didn't see you go yet. What's happening here? I don't know what's happening. True. Okay. Get ready, get set, let's go! All right, wait, wait. Crystal Garland okay. first, Crystal Garland first. Okay, all right, what color is this? Wait, hold a second. Hey, Walter, can you hold, can I hold this? Uh, give me the next one. Hold on. The next, the next pencil? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're going down. Oh, baby, here we go. Wait, okay. how are you Wait, there's six okay, seconds. Wait, wait, where am I? Wait, wait, wait. All right, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I wanted to do a heart with the red one, but here, we'll do another one. I'm going all the way around. Wait, okay, hold yeah. on, don't yeah. let me hit you. Hold on a second. What is happening? Oh, 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 oh. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Right, here you go. Right, wait, oh, I need to turn up. Right okay, okay hold on, hold on. It's almost. All right, give me the big, the he big ornament. He is the brother that lost his man. Wait, where's, I think where's the audience? Where's here, the front here, of the tree? Here, uh-uh. Front? Come on, go back around. Front, right front, here, right front. here. All right, Look. big oh, ornament. Oh, oh, no, they stole us. Oh, no. Here we go. Where are you? Hold on, I'm right here. Where are you? Walter, uh, can I take it off? Yes, you can. Yeah. All right. What went on over there? He what? stole our, our ornaments. What? That's I why you I gave you a box. My Look. whole life cheating. That's the whole audience does. can witness. I placed everything perfectly on the tree, but Jonathan sabotaged me. Oh my God! All right. Oh my God. Drew's okay. on Santa's naughty list every year. Clearly. Okay, well, audience, who y'all think did the better job? Jonathan or Drew? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on we hold need on. to do this fair. Okay. Let's hear noise. Let's hear noise if you pick the Jays. The Jays? We have Let's hear order. noise if you pick Jolly and the Drew. There's always the pity people. Yeah. You know what? It's the holiday, and this is the happy place. That's fine. You know what? So we both won. All right, we'll take it. Okay. Does that sound fair? Yes, that sounds fair. Okay. All right, y'all could listen. Don't steal our ornaments next time. We did that. You know that, what? Jonathan. I'm keeping the elf, okay? Keep the elf! Keep the elf! Keep the elf! Oh, no, thank you guys. 
<laughs> that was so much fun. Thank you for coming to see about us today. I love this. Okay, Celebrity IOU premieres Monday, January 1st at 8 p.m. on HGTV and will be available to stream the same day and time on Max. That is amazing. Yes, throw him on the tree. This is too much fun. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.